Hello my fellow dear friends, my viewers and subscribers all over the world. I greet you all and I welcome you all to this uh, Wednesday live broadcast coming from Okute Daily Talk where we speak to you the undiluted truth. Where the, uh, the truth here is the business of the daily basis or on the daily basis as you may like to call it. Without not taking much of our time, I want us to go into the business of this day. If you are not subscribed to my channel, endeavor to do that as soon as possible. Make sure you turn on the notification button so that you'll be notified each time we post something new or we we'll go live on this channel or any other channel that is related to Okute Daily Talk. We are going to start our news with another blockbuster from the Nigerian military and Nigerian police and the security, security operatives as usual as normal it becomes it has become a normal thing to, for them to do blackmailing the Eastern Security Network, the IPOB, the Bia France and much more uh, using it also to advertise the, this very struggle. Sometimes I see positive uh, in things that they are doing, not even negative, you understand? Anytime they are blackmailing IPOV, in one, in one hand they are blackmailing us, but in the other hand they are in one way or the other uh, publicizing and also uh, uh, advertising the struggle to the international community. We are going to see how they, they are blackmailing. This one again is an, in Inmo state. The, the governor of Ebo state has finished his own now. It is turn of the Imo state. He started from a Jima confession. He started from those ones who go to Bonanek office. That is a part of the blackmailing. And now, the, the, the military now, they have come with their own. Police have finished their own. Now is the military turn. Blackmailing IPOB again, saying that they, they, they arrested one uh, military guy who is a, a commander or training the, the ESN. Can you imagine that? A military in the army. Tell me when did he have chance? He will leave his uh, duty post to come and uh, begin to train the ESN. I mean, sometimes these people don't even reason when they make some allegations. They don't even have any atom of anything they are saying. Just simply because the script has been given to them and they don't bother to ask questions from their paymasters. How can you tell me a military man who is always on duty will leave his duty post to come and begin to train uh, ESN? How? When? Where? Anyway, let's go straight into the business of the day. Exclusive, as you as you may hear it. Exclusive. I repeat it again. He said, exclusive. <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like uh ogo uh, ogo I be no. It sounds like otapia Exclusive. See how they make it sound. Yeah? Exclusive. Exclusive waiting. What are they exclusive in? <laughs> I shake my head. Nigerian Army arrest soldier during that barrier in Imo State for allegedly uh, training uh, Eastern Security Network fighters participating in several killings. Okay, now, Okute News gathered that the ex soldier was arrested over the weekend during the barrier of his father at Mbise or in Mbise, anywhere, anyhow you put it, all of them are English. <laughs> the Nigerian Army has arrested one Wuchi Wendu. A deserted, a deserted army lance corporal, allegedly responsible for training and recruiting people into the ESN, Eastern Security Network. Okute News had just gathered this information last Monday. Nandi Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, had on December 12th, 2020, launched the ESN, saying the regional security outfit, just like Ametoku in the southwest, would help to tackle crimes and criminalities in the southeast, and that is the main aim of forming the ESN. In recent times, the group has been accused of perpetrating violent attacks in the region in order to achieve its agenda. But IPOP has, has repeatedly denied being behind the attacks. Not they are being repeatedly behind denying. They are not denying. That is a simple truth. That is a simple truth. ESN does not live on the ground, they live in the forest, looking for all these invaders who come through the forest to invade our land, destroy our farm crops, rape our women, and also kidnap uh, our, uh, our um, brothers and sisters. Military source told Okute reporters that Chiwendu, 13NA, 
slash 70 slash 9974 deserted the army and joined ESN since January of 2021. He was said to be to be the IPOP's militant armed man, armed man trainer in weapon handling and rose to become his deputy commander in Imo State within a few months. Okute News gathered that the ex-soldier was arrested over the weekend during the burial of his father at MBC. Upon his arrest, the suspect allegedly confessed killing a chieftain of the All Progressive Congress APC, Ahmed Gulak. Fallacy. Gulag, a former heir to the former president Goodall Jonathan, was murdered by a group of armed men on May 30 of 2021 during a visit to Imo State. He was reportedly trailed from his hotel room to the spot where he was killed around Umeze, Ubiangu, in Ongopara local government area, close to the Sam Mbakwe Airport Road. Iphone by ESN Deputy Commander for Imo State, 13NA Nigerian Army 70 slash 9974 LCPL Mwago Chiwendo, a deserter of the Nigerian Army, has been arrested. This soldier deserted the Army and joined ESN in January 2021. He was their main trainer in weapon handling and rose to be the second in command. To Temple, who is now the leader of the group in Imo State. While in the army, he served in Operation Hadden Kai and thus has operational experience. He was arrested during the burial of his father at Mbise. He confessed to killing former President Ed Gula and confirmed that his camp was responsible for the kidnapping of the two expatriates along Owere Okigwe Road and the killings of two police inspectors escorting them. Fallacy. Blackmailers every now and then. Che, <laughs> we will survive. That's a simple truth. We will survive. They are also the ones that kill soldiers in the same location and the burning of military healers vehicle last week. They equally participated in the attack on INEC office in Owele. We have handed him over to the police. A military source told Okute Delhi Talk. This, uh, this on a, uh, what would I call it? This on a, um, this on a blackmailing is turning to something else. So, uh, when I go blackmail us, and, and I'm waiting for the day that uh, somebody will come from uh, FBI, either in the US or UK, and say that, oh, I'm going there to bomb something or to destroy something or some, some, uh, some, some kind of shooter that they are not always happen in the US. And they will say, oh, this one now is from Ipopo, is a member of the ESL who just escaped to US. <laughs> To go to kill a, a pro, prominent man in the U.S. <laughs> I, I laugh in Calabar. Detain a public leader can resist alarm over secret arrest, detention of members, killings in the southeast Nigeria by the security agencies. Can who spoke with uh, his legal team uh, visited him in the Department of uh, the Service, okay, State Service DSS Detention Facility on Monday. Also lamented the increased case of attacks and killing of people in the southeast by the security agencies on various unjustified allegations. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Apo of Namdekano, has raised an alarm over secret arrests and detention of his supporters in various uh, uh, detention facilities by Nigerian security agencies and the ones who have nothing to offer to Nigeria. Dan, who spoke with his legal team that visited him on the Department of uh, State Service, DSA Detention on Facility, on Monday, also lamented the increasing cases of attacks and killings of people in the Southeast by security agencies in, on various unjustified allegations which they are carrying out on the land or on the region. Kano's lead counsel, Ifan Jofo, in a statement quoted, the Sessionist group leader are saying Biafra and the South Easterners should appreciate at this juncture that we are in a very serious situation demanding a total change in narratives. According to Geoffo, Kano strongly admonished his supporters and the people of the South East Zone to jettison any order or declaration that might result in any form of violence, as he expressed 
greater sadness that Biafrans are being dumped daily inside the detention facilities of various security agencies with no traces of all of the places nor particulars of their deten 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 detentions. He described as alarming the red this massive onslaught on innocent citizens is gaining prominence in our region. Can opinion that people should be guided by this hard fact that each time the criminal gangs commit offense on our land, those that bear the brunt are our innocent fathers, mothers, brothers and sisters who are usually killed and others arrested unprovoked and dumped at the different formations of the security agencies across the country. Where they are being detained at the pleasure of the establishment. The John Ford said, Kano further demonstrated the seriousness of this factual situation we are being confronted with. Today, the DSS served on our law firm a bundle of documents they filed in one of the matters we are, pre we are prosecuting against them. And, st and uh, strangely, they include a long list of their friends being detained at Wawa Barracks, Niger State, as those being detained at the pleasure of the state. This is how messy the situation has gotten. The statement uh, noted that Kano was uh, uh, emphatic and further admonished that the uh, Southeasterners should stop playing into the hands of their common enemies. Uyendu directed our people to tread with utmost caution because he is not under any illusion that those still fermenting trouble on our land in the purported name of the struggle are the real enemies of our people. Said. The real enemies we have in Biafra land are the one recruiting them, not the one who is going, not the not the errand boys. And that is the problem I'm having with the security uh, agencies in Nigeria. You will catch somebody just like uh, the issue that happened in Ekiti, where they caught some people that are going to buy food. If you look at those people that are tattered, uh -huh, you will you will have to know within yourself that these people are not are not the main real actors. The main real actors are the ones that give them money to go and buy votes. And EFCC will cut these people and put them behind bars. Then the real actors will also go and recruit more men to go out there and be perpetrating all the same act. I see yet that nobody is doing anything. That is the problem we are having in Nigeria. Nobody is doing anything. Nobody is saying anything. Nobody is looking for where this problem is coming from. Just like in the Western world, when they caught a bird, I mean, what I mean, a drug a, a smuggler, they will will be very very okay with that person they will even pay for a very luxury uh, luxurious hotel for that person and waiting for the man or guy to come and uh, pick up whatever he have ordered because somebody sent that bird on a trip but in nigeria the reverse is the case when they sent you out there you go out there they caught you you are on your own they can only tell you not to speak anything so that later they will come to bear you and when they come for your bell they will give up the police will collect bribe and let you go and the crime will continue to be multiplying on a daily basis. So tell me, how are we going to salvage all this? Nigeria is not very ready to be good. That is the simple truth. When they are ready to be good, we will know. But for now, nothing. Exclusive. How terrorist linked minister Isa Pantami allegedly bribed National Assembly members with millions of Naira uh, job slots to ensure passage of controversial, controversial ICT bill. The bill had, uh, uh, okay, uh, some members of the National Assembly have been paid millions of naira to ensure the passage of the controversial bill to repair and uh, renounce the National Information Technology Development Agency. Okute News has learned the bill had earlier been uh, considered by the House of Representatives and uh, consecutively passed the first and second readings on the floor of the Senate on the December 12th and 13th respectively. A top source to the Sahara reporters and also Okute Daily Talk that the federal lawmakers, senators, and House of Representatives members received bribes in cash and jobs lost from the Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Isa Pantami, to ensure the passage of the bill. Exactly, that is what they are doing, and that is why corruption can never, never cease in that country called Nigeria. The bill sex, among others, to empower NITDA to fix licensing and authorization charges 
collect fees and penalties and issue contra con contravention and notices and non-compliance with the Act. The proposed legislation also seeks to establish the National Information Technology Development Fund, which shall be funded by a levy of uh, 1% of the profit before tax of companies and enterprises with annual turnover of 100 million naira and above. It listed affected companies pay uh, levels to include mobile and fixed telecommunications companies, information technology companies, gaming companies, and e-commerce companies, foreign digital platforms targeting the Nigerian markets, banks, financial institutions, fintech companies, insurance companies, among others. Imagine some members of the board of NITDA are not aware of this bill. That when the bill first came, they got to know, uh, they got to know through the public. A uh, top NID officials told Okute Daily Talk. They set up a subcommittee at the board level and made their recommendations known. But the minister Pantami dropped the recommendations and still went ahead to perpetrate the act. As it stands, he has paid the Senate committee members to pass the bill and force it through, giving their families jobs in the parasatas and contrast to them as he has given his son. What a word. And you tell me this country can be good? I doubt it in many years to come. Recall that the, uh, that the Coast Groove gave him a huge percentage for building the NITDA headquarters building and it was from the deal that he got his house in Wusetu, which was previously published on Okute Daily News. Using this uh, process and his manipulations of uh, Sabiu Tunde, he is now trying to set the, the renewal of the NITD DG Kasifu Inua before time so that the incoming president will not have the chance to recruit someone else to NIDA and that will give him he, Pantami more years of making the cow which he is creating with a new bill. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine this nonsense? The startup and business community have said for someone that uh, claims to be professor and supporter of businesses in the technology sectors, this is a reflection of how incompetent he is or personal interest is driving his agenda that he became blind and is creating more taxes, duplicating rules. How will NCC issue license and now NITDA we, you will issue another license. What is the logic in that? Let me tell you, the Senate chairman has already been compromised, but some lawmakers are against him. Not sure, but I heard that Ahmed Lawan has been paid by Pantami as well and even recruited his son. Oh, and Kenafun, make it easy and now the listen now. Stakeholders raised concern about some provisions of the bill, which they said overlapped or unsupported. Uh, uh, st st uh, statutory powers and authorities of other agencies of government, according to them. They argue that the bill seeks to make NITDA a mega regulatory of regulators in the country. Meanwhile, Pantami and Inua were absent at the hearing organized by the Senate and House of Representatives Joint Committee on ICT and Cyber Security on Friday over the controversial bill. They will not be present. The, the, the so-called uh, uh, senior president will tell them not to appear because if they appear there, it will spoil their deal. The joint committee claimed that the public hearing was organized to take input from stakeholders in the industry by the Minister of Communications and Digital Economy and Director General of NITDA. We are conspic uh, conspicuously absent at the hearing, a development that prompts some committee members to call for an adjournment. Some members of the House of Representatives, Isiaka Ibrahim Ogun, Uzoma Nkem Abonta Abia, and uh, Uyim Idem Akwaibon raised objections to the continuation of the public hearing, citing the absence of the minister and the NITDA Director General, non availability of materials on the bill, and the fact that the event came at a time the National Assembly members were already on holiday mood. Of course. <laughs> They will read this thing without your notice itself. They will even do it underground. That is how they pass bills that is not supported by the government or by the peoples in the assembly simply because their own have already bribed them through. That is the problem 
of Nigeria. And they can never, ever change unless we do what is called overhaul of all this never do well, all these psycho fans that fool every offices in Nigeria. Look at what somebody is doing to make him that is, he wants to sign that office permanently to himself and his family. They also expressed disappointment that there was no apology received either from Pantame or Inua. Why none of their representatives was at the public hearing? The drivers of this bill seem to be driving in low gear. The necessary ingredients for us are not here. We don't have the documents before us. Members are not here. The minister is not here. What needs to be done should be appropriately done, Abunta said. However, their submissions were unacceptable to the co-chairman of the panel, Senator Yakubu Oseni, APC Gogi, who insisted that the proceedings should go ahead as planned. They have already collected the bribes. Okute News had in August report, reported how Coast Groove Investment Limited, a firm owned by Omar Abdullahi, gifted Pantami a multi-million naira mansion in Abuja, part of the bribes. This prime edifice is located in the Wuse area of the Federal Capital Territory. Different source confirmed to Okute Daily Talk. The building it was lent had been gifted to the minister as compensation for the different multi-billion naira project being executed by the company for the Nigerian government, including the construction of over 3 billion naira national digital innovation and entrepreneurship center. Coast Group Investment Limited, a company that built one of the Malamese mansions, Mar oh, Malamese mansions in Abuja, was the one given the job to build NITDA Digital Center. It was gifted to the Pantame, and he made sure the company was awarded the contract to build the NITDA project. A source has said the project was awarded for over three billion naira, and the company was expected to give Pantame ten percent of the total contract sum. Chineke Kwenyonjo. 3 billion naira, 10% of the 3 billion naira. Do you know how much is this? Do you know how much is this? 300 million naira in, into his private account. And nobody said anything. Another police arrested, detained over killing of the, of the civilian in Aja, Lagos State. The Nigerian police force has confirmed the arrest and detention of one of its personnel. Over involvement in the killing of a civilian in the Aja area of Lagos State, Okute News reports. The Lagos State Command of the Force acknowledged in a statement released on Tuesday that its personnel, Inspector Ime Johnson, was involved in the unfortunate death of a Gafaru Buramo, a happy land estate Aja. Police brutality have come back to norm again. According to the command, the officer behind the shooting was immediately disarmed and has been detained as a full-scale investigation has commenced. The Lagos State Police Command, through the Area Command Ele Moro and Divisional Police Officer Aja, has since notified and the Lagos State Police Command established contact with the family. The command, while commiserating with the family of the deceased over the avoidable and mis uh, most unfortunate incident, gives assurance that they already commenced investigations into the immediate and remote circumstances leading to the shooting will be brought to a speedy and conclusive end while equally ensuring that justice is served the letter signed by the lagos uh, state police command police uh, public relations officer benjamin hundi and rich he noted that the area officer in, deten in detention at the, the state criminal investigation department and further actions will be taken soon as the case is uh, concluded Kidnappers killed three brothers, one other, after receiving 60 million naira ransom in Nigeria. Three brothers and their, and their ransom bearer have been reportedly killed by their abductors in Taraba State after they received a, a ransom of 60 million naira as agreed. Ukutenu report that the police spokesperson in the state, Abdullahi Osman, confirmed to the channel's TV that the kidnappers killed their victims in the Laoru local government area. Of Taraba State. According to him, the sad, the sad incident took place on Sunday at Garden Dogo community of Lao local government area after the three brothers were kidnapped from the said community. Osman disclosed that the kidnapper initially demanded a ransom of 100 million naira, but the father 
of the brothers Alaj Musa, who is said to be a dealer in cattle, had negotiated the amount to 60 million naira, and the abductors uh, of uh, his sons agreed to the bargain. However, Ukute News understand that the kidnappers who demanded cash payment via a motorcyclist still killed the three brothers and their ransom bearer after collecting the money. Meanwhile, Okute News earlier reported that one Madame Success, who lured four female students into prostitution in Delta states, had been remanded in prison. The defendant was denied bail after she was arraigned on Friday before a magistrate court. It was gathered that Madame Success lured the victims between the ages of 13 and 15 years from Akwaibom State to Abo, Delta State, on the pretext of making them sex girls, but put them in a brutal and made, and made them to sleep with at least five men daily, wickedness in the highest order. And this, and this, and this person will have a daughter, right? And the daughter will be living a, a, very, a very good life. <laughs> the, 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 the evil that you perpetrated on, on, all, on all these uh, underage girls will affect your children, I mean your daughters, when the time is right. One, to get a good husband is a problem. Even if they get anyone, it will be from one fight to the other until they separated. And this kind of women, their daughters are the ones that even they can marry up to 10 times and they have 10 children from 10 different marriages. That is what they did. That is the repercussion of what they are doing to other children. The Anambra State Commissioner for Women and Children Welfare, Ifi Obinabo, rescued the four female students in Onosha, where their trafficker kept them to enroll to Delta State. Thank God they are being caught earlier. The female students, while narrating their orders to journalists, stated that the socialites promised them jobs. One of them said, Auntie Success told us that she had job opportunities for us in our data state, where we would be selling drinks in a beer parlor. But on getting there, we discovered that it was prostitution work she brought us to do. The, the men paid the sum of 1,000 naira or 2,000 naira directly to our madam, who gave us 400 naira every day for feeding. My goodness, wickedness in the higher, uh, highest order. The direct payment to Madam Success made it difficult for us to have any cash at hand. These dress, skimpy clothes were brought for us from the proceeds paid to our Madam. That is wickedness in the highest order. And God will never forgive this woman. Nigerian police officer caught on camera taking Igbo on duty. CSP Ulumu Yewa Ajobi reacts. <laughs> This is what they used to take. Look at it now. He used grand that grounded Igbo, which is gone at, 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 at its worst. When he smoked this thing, finished now, he come out now and begin to shoot people anyhow. Nigerian, from, Nigerian police need a, a total reform. Total reform from beginning, starting from the IG down to the last corporal. The Nigerian policeman has been caught holding cannabis, popularly called Igbo, inside a crusher while on duty. Arise News report that a Twitter user has shared a photo online asking the spokesperson of the Nigerian police force, CSP Olumuwa Adejobi, if the action was right. Responding, Adejobi said the area officer should be quite a state and public relations officer in the state will help fish out the officer and send him to the force headquarters in Abuja. He said, I think this is Quara, PPR. A PPRO quarrel to fish out this policeman and send him to my office at the federal habitat, uh, federal headquarters immediately. Can you see this too? It is a personal thing. I have said it several times that it is not systematic. How can a policeman on uniform on duty be taken Igbo? <laughs> I love his Spanish. Another news comes here, it but just bumps up now, so I need to use it to round up this bit particular broadcast. Christmas holiday gets retributed at Wonderland. I don't want people several times about this uh, this playground. He had on a leash now, on a leash now. Nobody nobody wants to listen. It's alright. Meanwhile, a case of a retribution was reported on Monday at the kiddies section of Wonderland at NED City, Amad Bellu Way, Victoria Island, Lagos. Reports obtained by Arise News and Channel News reveal that a Christmas holiday guest that had visited the event center for holiday fun and experience got electrocuted. The Lagos State Government was informed of the incident which happened on Monday, December 
of 26 2022 and immediately ordered the closure and suspension of the activities at the event venue the director general of the Lagos state uh, safety commission Lanre Mo mojola in a joint inspection with the Lagos state task force team stated that the action became necessary to prevent further exposure of attendees particularly kids it expressed worries that uh, that letting the event center open without dealing with the issue may lead to the further injuries and fatalities according to mojola the event venue owner Ezekiel Adamu had refused to implement safety measures prescribed by the commission despite several meetings at the onset of the project following an initial safety inspection exercise carried out on the venue to deliberate on the safety infractions observed with the facilities please uh, uh, i beg you people let me just take this last but not the least Woman who made girls sleep with five men daily have been nabbed in what? In. Where? We don't know. One Madam Success who lured female students into prostitution in Delta State have been remanded in prison, Okute News reports. The defendant was denied bail after she was arraigned on Friday before a magistrate court. It was gathered that Madam Success lured the victims between the ages of 13 and 15 years from Akwaibom to Abo State. Abo Delta State. On the pretext of making them sex girls, but put them in a brutal and made to sleep with at least five men daily. The Unabrated Commissioner for Women and the Children uh, and the Children Welfare, Ifi Obinabo, rescued the four female students in Onosha, where their trafficker kept them in road to Delta State. The media assistant to Obinabo, Chedema Ika Nyong, told journalists that the commissioner, working with the police, stormed a motor park in Onesha on a tip-off and rescued the girls. Ikan Yong in a press statement disclosed that Madam Success was around before the children. S sexual and gender-based violence magistrate court, Oka Anambra State. The female students, while narrating their audience, generally stated that the socialites promised them jobs as they are enrolled from Calabar, Abe Akwaibo, to Delta State. One of them said, and the success told her that she had Opportunities for us in our data stage where we will be selling drinks in a beer parlor, but on getting there, we discovered that it was procession work she brought us to do. The men paid the sum of 1,000 naira or 2,000 naira directly to our madam, who only gave us 400 naira daily for feeding. The direct payment of Madame Sussex made it difficult for us to have any cash at hand. This dress we are bought for us from the proceeds paid to our madam. The guests who claim that it was in their quest to secure their school fees that they got lured into the act maintain that they had made several unsuccessful attempts to escape but were always caught and punished severely. After the punishment, we were taken to a herbalist who forced us to take an oath that we would run, we would, we would never run away or we would die, another victim uh, said. This is how they keep on maltreating. I mean, what is a, a 13 years and, and a 15 years old, even if it's a beer parlor, from Akwaibom to death to death estate? What for? I mean, all this, all this, uh, well, this due generation self. I don't know who raised them and where did they got all this kind of uh, uh, mindset. If there is no any money to send you to school, remain with your parents. Do manager with them. They are going to the farm. You farm with them, not to looking for. Uh, a, a, a sex girl will work. Biapalo and Brute, what is different different there? It's also child molestation to allow a 13 years or 15 years old to be working in the bar for nothing's sake. For crying out loud, they're not even up to a, the age of carrying a pregnancy or the age of sleeping with a man, but rather they have all spoiled at 13 years and 15 years old. Making it making it easy for them to to to, to be lured into such a such an act. Chai, which a man do, man. Anyway, my dear people of being proud, lovers of freedom and lovers of mankind, in case you're not subscribed to my channel and this is the first time of hearing my voice, please endeavor to do that as soon as possible. Turn on the notification button so that we, you'll be notified each time we go live or post something new on this channel or another channel related to Okute Daily Talk. I am signing out. I'll I come your way again and see the man, your one and only Okute, from my own end, where truth is business we tell on a daily basis and where we speak to you the undiluted truth about things of life. Remain blessed and remain focused. I mean, this year to do it. 
bring God good tidings, good blessings, and open doors. And moreover, good health and all. I am signing out. Bye for now. Que me